Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Heather and Adam kindly request that you turn off your cell phones and put away your electronic devices. They're having an unplugged wedding and ask that no photos be taken during the ceremony. Instead, they invite you to be fully present with them as they are united in marriage. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand to welcome the bride. Thank you. You may be seated. Perfect. Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Irene Blau. I'm a celebrant, and it is my great honor to officiate the wedding today of Heather Michon and Adam Grayson. Today, Adam and Heather lovingly pledge themselves to one another and we celebrate with and for them. Over the past nine years, they have become an integral part of each other's lives, having fallen in love and created a life together. This ceremony honors their connection and commitment to one another and provides the beautiful space in which we will witness the solemn promise that they will make to live the rest of their lives within the union of marriage. No union is more profound for it embodies the highest ideals of love, fidelity, sacrifice, devotion, and family. Yet, we are here not only to celebrate the love that Heather and Adam have for each other, but also the love that each of you has given them throughout their lives. You all have shown them the strength and joy of loving one another. Adam and Heather would like to thank all of you for your presence here today. They are grateful to share their wedding day with you, their family and friends, and thank each of you for spending the day with them. The significance of the next few moments is made all the more meaningful because you're here. Adam and Heather, today your lives, which began on separate paths, will be joined as one. They met in college. It was love at first sight for Heather. The first time they saw each other, Heather needed access to a room for work, but there was already a meeting taking place there. She had no choice but to wait outside for the meeting to finish. It was then that she noticed a very attractive upperclassman waiting to get into the same room. She figured she had nothing to lose, so she struck up a somewhat awkward conversation <laughs> with him. And that was that. A year passed before they ran into each other again, this time in a computer lab. Heather was working on an assignment when Adam walked in with a friend. Adam recognized her immediately, but Heather did not remember Adam. After he reminded her of their previous encounter, it jogged her memory. She still thought he was cute and dropped some hints, but again, Adam did not realize she was interested. Once more, that was that. A month later, they bumped into each other in the stairwell of their dorm. It turns out that they lived a floor apart in the same building. Heather looked amazing to Adam. <laughs> he wondered what he had been missing before. 
A few days later, he invited her and her friends up to a party. And that was the start. From the very beginning, it was exciting for them to be together. But there was also a sense of ease. They were completely comfortable with each other, which holds true to this day. There are special qualities in couples who have a love that lasts. One is compatibility, and I believe that is the cornerstone of who they are as a couple. Heather and Adam have felt since the start of their relationship that they belong together. Simple as that. From spending time with their friends in college, to hanging out on campus, or to having a fancy dinner at an elegant French bistro, they never wanted to stop being around each other. Today, they like going for walks together, playing video games, and watching TV shows in their spare time. They are up for trying new things, too, but really what they most enjoy is simply being together, being with family, being with friends, and of course, being with Milo, their adorable little dog. They have an uncomplicated relationship in which they communicate openly and support each other emotionally. They can't imagine life without the other. A second quality of a lasting love is commitment, which is a defining element in their relationship. Adam and Heather had been together consistently since that party in Adam's dorm room in college. They took major steps together, like buying a house and becoming dog parents. Heather patiently waited as Adam came around slowly to the idea of marriage. It had never been a question that Heather was the one. Rather, it was when he would be ready to take the next big step. Finally, he was ready. He planned to propose, then to celebrate with her and his family afterwards on the night of Heather's birthday. The day came. He caught a nasty cold. And the electricians who had been working on their basement knocked out the electricity. But there was no turning back. Heather came home to Adam blindfolding her at the door. Then leading her to their bedroom, she opened the, her eyes and on the floor, she saw a red potpourri circle and in it, spelled in wrapping paper letters, were the words, will you marry me? Adam got down on one knee and asked her to marry him. Heather couldn't believe it was happening. She replied in disbelief, are you serious? Followed by yes. One more quality of a lasting love is care. It is obvious how the two of them care for each other. Heather admires Adam's passion and creativity. He loves music and records songs on his guitar on almost a daily basis. And he continues to be the skateboarder Heather fell in love with. He is also sweet, caring, he openly loves and cares about his family, and he acts like a father to Milo. Heather and Adam are not a public display of affection kind of couple, but she sees how he worries about her when she's sick, how he stood by her when she needed support, and how he sweetly kisses her on the forehead when he leaves the room. Adam loves how Heather views the world through a lens of sympathy and understand. She is kind to everyone she comes into contact with. Once there was a woman standing outside of Target asking people for money to help her child. Heather stopped and listened to her, then took her inside the store, helped her pick out clothes for her baby, and bought them for her as a Christmas gift. She did not hesitate to help. She is generous and compassionate in their relationship as well. Adam knows that she has his best interest in mind and always makes him feel loved and supported. He enjoys his life so much because of what he and Heather have together. They both know they have found in each other the partner that will perfectly complement them throughout their lives. The two of them look forward to experiencing new things together and maybe in the distant future having children of their own. But most of all, they look forward to continuing to enjoy and to love each other just as they have been. 
and we look forward to witnessing their journey as they begin the next chapter of their lives together. Heather and Adam. Take a moment to look at everyone who has come to celebrate you too. <laughs> look at each person here and acknowledge the love. That love is for you. Now please walk to the center, face each other, and hold hands. I invite you to take a few seconds to reflect on what you're about to do. Shortly, you shall say a few words that will take you across a threshold of life, and things between you will never quite be the same. Hey, you shall the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. Adam, do you take Heather to be your wife, to love her unconditionally from this day forward, through all of life's circumstances, and to promise to be a loving presence in her life as you continue your journey together? <laughs> Heather, do you take Adam to be your husband, to love him unconditionally from this day forward, through all of life's circumstances, and to promise in his life as you continue your journey together? Having chosen each other as partners for life and in an expression of your total commitment to one another, I now invite you to read your vows. Is this good? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, Adam, I, wait, that's, okay, there it is, okay. <laughs> Wrong side first. <laughs> Adam, meeting you is the best thing that has ever happened to me. I don't believe in fate, but it feels as though we were bound to meet. I was shy and you were so adorably oblivious to my advances. Even so, I decided that it would be worth it if I put myself out there for you. You have brought so much joy into my life. The way you approach your hobbies with such passion and devotion shows that when you love something, you are driven to surround yourself with it. Seeing what happiness it brings you inspires me to look for those similar passions in life. I love how considerate you are and how you've been there supporting me, even at my worst. You are my rock. You have helped me through some extremely tough times and that is something that I'll never forget. I love the time we spend just enjoying each other's company, whether it's watching TV, playing video games, or exploring nature. We can just be ourselves together. Our relationship is full of love, trust, and open communication, and I'm so happy that we decided to start a little family by getting Milo. It's clear that together, we can handle challenges and come out stronger for it. Adam, I promise to listen and support you in all of life's challenges. I promise to care for you and look out for your well-being. I promise to love you even as much as I love Milo. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to encourage your creativity while giving you space so you can practice your hobbies in peace. And I promise to be your project manager, no matter the project. I promise to try and keep the, the counters as clear of clutter as I can. But most of all, I promise to put our new family first. When I look at a future with you, I get full of excitement. I can't wait for us to share more experiences together. I want to explore the world and grow old with you. Adam, meeting you has changed my life for the better. And I can't help but think I'm the luckiest girl. Okay. <laughs> Heather. 
occasionally people ask me why it took seven years to propose to you. <laughs> and the truth is, is that getting married wasn't something that I thought very much about, but that's not because I didn't have an interest in it. I absolutely did. It was that I was so happy and so comfortable to be with you those seven years that mentally I was already there. I already knew it was gonna happen. I knew that one day I would ask you to be my wife and I didn't want to rush the young and simple stages of our relationship away because after all, it seemed like it couldn't get any better. But I realize now that wasn't entirely correct because standing here with you in front of our friends and family, I know that it gets better. And I love, and the love I have for you makes this evident to me. I love that you are selfless and caring towards others while still taking the time to better yourself. I love that you can make difficult decisions, even if that means that you have to put your feelings aside for a little bit. I love that you have an unwavering desire to succeed in your endeavors, but know when it's time to take a step back and reflect. I love knowing that all of this isn't just a thought anymore. You will be my wife, and I love the feeling of loving you most of all. So with that being said, I vow to never make you wait seven years for something I know you and I both want ever again, unless it's to remodel part of the house because you're gonna have to wait for that. But we have many more years ahead of us, years in which we can take our time and stop and smell the flowers together, years in which we can dream big and strive to make those dreams a reality, years in which we can look back on our journey together, the people we've shared it with and smile. And for all those years, there are some additional vows which I would like to make. I vow to comfort and support you when things are at their worst, to always help you in any way that I can, and let you know that if we're together, we can overcome any situation. I vow to celebrate and laugh with you when things are at their best, to remember all the good times we've shared together and always look to create new ones. I vow to love you, Heather, to the fullest, I won't ever forget the story of how we met and fell in love, but I can't help but look forward to our future as husband and wife and know that as long as we are together, things will just keep getting better. <laughs> okay. Adam, do you have the rings? I hope so. Yes, I do have them. Okay, <laughs> good. Very good. The promises which you have spoken to each other today are inscribed forever in your minds and in your hearts. But words are fleeting. So let these rings serve as a reminder of the feelings you have in your hearts at this very moment. These rings are visible, tangible symbols of your commitment to one another and of your emotional connection. These rings announce to the world that you have been found. They are a reminder and a celebration of the promises you have made today. And in exchanging these bands, you knit your lives together as one. When you look at your wedding band, remember the great gift that you have been given to each other. Remember that you have someone to share this life with. Never again will you have to walk alone. Adam, please take Heather's ring, place it on her finger. <laughs> I gotta put this one on now too. And repeat after me. <laughs> Heather, I give you this ring. Heather, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love for you. As a symbol of my love for you. And of my promise. And of my promise. To honor you. To honor you. Comfort you. Comfort you. And be faithful to you. And be faithful to you. And to our marriage. And to our marriage. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Heather, please take Adam's ring. Place it on his finger and repeat after me. Adam, I give you this ring. Adam, I give you this ring. 
as a symbol of my love for you. As a symbol of my love for you. And of my promise. And of my promise. To honor you. To honor you. Comfort you. Comfort you. And be faithful to you. And be faithful to you. And to our marriage. And to our marriage. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. On this day, you have acknowledged your shared values and are choosing a future with each other. You have come before us publicly to affirm your love, to promise to nurture yourselves, each other, and this union, and to acknowledge its centrality in your lives. You do so knowing that marriage is at once the most tender, yet the most challenging of all of life's relations. In choosing a lifelong partner, we're choosing the one who will witness our changes and growth and who will affect these changes and shape our future as well. My wish for you is that after years of marriage, you can look back and say, because of you, I've lived the life I've always wanted to live. And because of you, I've become the person I've always wanted to be. Heather and Adam. We have heard your promise to share your lives in marriage. We recognize and respect the vows you have made here this day before each one of us as a witness. By the powers vested in me in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, it is my honor and delight to pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Thank mm -hmm. you.